This is a video on how to set up form warnings in DriveWorks Solo. If you were to open up a finished project that didn't have any form warnings applied, and you were to click on a new specification, there would be no warnings if some form controls weren't filled in for example. Unlike this project, which has form warnings applied and therefore stops you progressing to the next page in the form, if the form controls haven't been filled out. But you can see that there have only been form warnings applied to the form controls, customer name, and salesperson. To add form warnings to a project, click on the Show Project Designer button to open up the project. Then select the Form Design task heading and select the form control you would like to add a warning to. I will add a warning to the quote number. Go to the Error Result property in the Properties list and build a rule for it by clicking on the Rules Builder. And once in the Rules Builder, select an IF function from the Functions wizard on the command bar or have a go at writing the IF function yourself. You will know if the rule is valid or not, as the colour behind the rule will turn green, suggesting it is valid. You can also check the results in the Values tab at the bottom of the Rules Builder in the Help and Diagnostics area. If the value result is not what you are expecting, you might need to alter your rule slightly. Create the rule by selecting the Quote Number Return Form Control from the Form tab on the right, and say if it equals nothing, then have the warning say, Please enter a unique quote number otherwise nothing. Do the same for the contact form control, but do this using the if function from the functions wizard. By saying if the form control contact equals nothing, then please enter a contact name. Now to test the form, close the project designer down, click on refresh and save, and select a new specification. You can now see that there are four form warnings visible, which state that there are four tasks still to be completed before you can move to the next form. When you enter in some information into the form controls, the warnings go away, and you are allowed to move to the next form. For more information, click on the help button at any time whilst using DriveWorks Solo, or visit the online help file, which can be found at help.driveworksolo.com.